Guys, thieves no longer have to physically pick your pocket to steal your credit card and other personal information. A new chip in your credit card may be transmitting your personal and financial information right now from your pocket or purse. Credit card companies are doing away with the magnetic strips on the back of cards, replacing them with a small chip called an RFID chip, which stands for Radio Frequency Identification. So instead of handing your credit card to a clerk or swiping it through a card reader, you can wave your piece of plastic in front of a scanner to pay. No signature required. It's just whoosh and go. Sure, it's convenient, but when you put that card back into your wallet or purse, it can still transmit your info. So when you're out doing some holiday shopping or anywhere in close proximity with others, if you're close enough to any reader, including a homemade portable one, they are easily reading the same financial and personal information. But it's not just travelers and shoppers who should worry. Experts say these new RFID chips are now in government or military IDs and in many passports issued after 2006. To think something so small could control you. And, and everything you do. When your life and all you love are on the line. The RFID chip is always with you, threatening your privacy, causing severe risk to your health and personal safety and killing you if you do not obey rogue government demands. Because I, because I want to increase my risk of cancer. Because I want to live in a cash-free society. Because now the government is looking out for us. Because I have the mark of the beast, but it doesn't have me. Ask your doctor how to get your chip implanted today. Because we want to track your every move. Okay, we're going to looking at the new Solo Health Station. What's really unique about it is look at, look at the scanner. Show them that it's at your knee level. Knee level. For hand. For your hand, where you can swipe your hand for the RFID chip. The questions it shouldn't really ask. The Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, was passed in 2010. And the law makes health insurance available to more people with the hope that they will be able to get the care they need. Scanner for the new hand. law also makes it easier for individuals to shop and compare all the different health plans with the health care marketplace. Questions. And depending on the questions, questions, we can have national regional reach out to help you find the plan that fits your specific needs. Obamacare at Walmart and the scanner for the RFID. You've seen the science fiction in movies? Using unique biological characteristics instead of keys. He's been identified on the metro. A facial or iris scan to unlock doors and digital accounts. An electronic paperless society. Yeah, John come summer, come summer. Technology, technology will leap off the big screen, and one metro door will make your identity available right at your fingertips. It's sci-fi that's about that's about to enter the checkout lane of speed and convenience. You'll be able to buy anything from bread to beer if you if you agree to give the store your ultimate identity. Identity. Once you have your grocery scanned, now what do you do? You punch in your pin number. Touch your in, touch your index finger, and you've paid in about three seconds, all with the touch of your fingertips. It's called biometrics, an automated way to recognize you based on your unique biological characteristics. Each person's fingerprint is a unique identifier, not biologically duplicated anywhere else in the world. If you get your purse stolen or your car gets broken into, that type of thing, uh, they cannot bring that information into one of our stores and use that with, because you're not going to be there and your finger is not going to be present at the time of the transaction. But not everyone, ag but not everyone agrees that... Oh, oh. Uh, it scares the me. ACLU Executive Director Dan Winter says numbers on a stolen credit card can be changed, but once someone steals your fingerprint, they've stolen it for life, for life. Do not be sold on this because of a convenience. Do not give something away. Do not give yourself away something. You know, today it's a fingerprint. Tomorrow, a microchip. 
maybe that ushers in the mark of the beast. Donnie Attaway quit his management job at Quick Trip job at Quick Trip when the convenience store chain told him he had to swipe his finger to clock in. And although it may be optional today, you know, who knows about tomorrow. We're by no means going to force anybody to put down their finger image if they're not willing to. Experts say biometrics are about to prevent are about every, every aspect of our economy and daily lives. But they say for biometrics to work, there is one requirement, trust, something Christy already has. And you, put your, and you put your finger in there, and my name comes up, and she's got all my information. And it's that quick? It's very quick. People... People across the world already use biometrics. The U.S. government, the airlines, gas stations, even Walt Disney World uses technology that can read guest blood veins and day passes. But the technology... Across the country, schools are finding ways to track and monitor students inside and outside the classroom. The techniques range from chips embedded in school ID cards to GPS, systems installed in computers tracking students' every move, to actual surveillance cameras, and it's happening in Texas. These are the IDs students are required to carry that have tracking trips built right into them, so teachers know where their students are at all times. Well, schools say the measures will help make kids safer, but is it just going too far? To discuss this, I'm joined now by RT Web Producer. What they're doing it for. In the case of Texas, we have a school district there where two schools um, so far this year have force the students to wear these um, badges that have the cards inside of them. And they're using it as means of tracking the students so that they can try to try to cut down on the rampant truancy that's happening right there. Because in a lot of school districts, if you're not having kids showing up, the states aren't going to pay for the schools. The states are going to stop the way. We have a case uh, just recently where one student, uh, she, uh, she rejected this idea. She said, I'll, I'll carry a badge on me. You can you know, have my name. You can have my photo. But I don't want to be tracked around the school because you can, from anywhere up to like 100 feet away, they can just buzz you in on a radio and they can find out like within a couple of inches where you are in the building. And um, it's just, you know, it kind of just gives people the heebie-jeebies. Uh, um, understand. So students yeah. do not have a choice. Uh, well, must, this, is, this is a mandate. We're, we're seeing that um, students and parents are starting to revolt slowly but surely, but so far the school district um, isn't really that concerned about their complaints. We have one case of a girl who said that it would uh, it would violate her religious beliefs to be tracked uh, consistently throughout the day, and would also obviously religious beliefs. Yes, uh, by, I mean pri I understand privacy concerns and yeah, maybe said, constitutional she concerns, it but the, religious concerns. The mark of the beast to have this you know unknowing eye on her at all times. She said you know my religion doesn't stand for it, and I don't want to have it. And the school said, okay, this is what we're going to do. You can go ahead and you can have your regular old ID badge. But um, we're going to start implementing this uh, all the way through, and there are going to be repercussions. And some students are already seeing that. If they don't have their, uh, their RFID chips, they're being told that they can't check out library books. They can't pay for their lunches in the cafeteria. They can't go into certain classrooms. And um, there's a couple of cases of it happening in Texas. There are actually a few companies who market these devices for schools and other institutes all over the world. But the case that we're seeing right now is in this one school board in Texas. And it's being tried out in two schools, one elementary school, one high school, impacting roughly around 6,000 people. But right now, it is just a pilot program. And right. Is this just the guinea pig? In other words, could we uh, foresee this happening if this across takes the off, country and other school systems? If this takes off, they're expecting uh, within like a couple of years to have uh, it um, advance in Texas and impact around 100,000 students in 122 different schools. And uh, of course, like I'll say.
the mark of the, the beast. So many people talk about this being biblical, prophetic, and many people realize that it will probably come in the form of an RFID chip. Now, NBC has recently made a statement that has a lot of people wondering, has this been planned already and just not come to fruition? That seems to be the case because as NBC states here, by 2017, all Americans will be tagged with microchips. I want to pause for a second and I want to state that it will take an event between now and 2017 to implement this because people are not just going to willingly take these chips. So something's going to happen between now and 2017.